Hi everyone, I'm Jill Ream Crane, founder and owner of Glisten and Glow. Today I'm going to give you a little insight on the inspiration behind our upcoming collection, The Five Burrows. This is an exclusive inter interview for Bethany from Housewife Nails, and we're so thankful that she's doing this video and did these beautiful swatches for us. The Five Burrows Collection is a New York-inspired collection. It features the Five Burrows, Manhattan, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island. The names reflect the fun activities that you can do in the burrows or originated there. I am a Connecticut native, and I spent most of my summers in New York City as a child. My father and his whole side of his family was originally from New York, and most of them still live there. Besides the holidays and getting to see the amazing things that happen in New York City during that time of year, I got to see the typical tourist attractions, spending time with my grandparents, aunts and uncles. I got to admire the beautiful skyscrapers, the interiors and exteriors of beautiful apartment buildings, office buildings, and everything that makes New York City such an amazing city. It is a classic. Like the classic New York City, I created these, these timeless shades to absolutely show off the love of the skyscrapers at night, the glitzy interiors of the various buildings, the contrast between the darker shades of the buildings and the shadows in the street lights, to the gilded wall coverings and the sparkling chandeliers. Recalling my childhood memories when creating these timeless shades has been extremely rewarding. These shades look perfect on any skin tone, any time of year. These beautiful neutrals are even great for work. From the darker shades to the lighter shades, they're just timeless classics. In addition to this five-piece collection, at PolishCon, we'll be launching two other polishes. One is NYC is My Jam. That is an, a limited edition shade. It's a berry color. And then also we have a wonderful collaboration with Nicole from Hello Miss Nikki. She's a beauty blogger, and we've created a Raisin to Believe, which is another gorgeous shade that you must have in your collection. We thank you so much, Bethany from Housewife Nails, for all of your beautiful swatches, hard work on this collection, and I hope everyone enjoys the five burrows as much as I did in creating them. It really allowed me to stretch my artistic ability and show you my creativity in creating polishes. Thank you. Hey guys, what is up? Bethany at House of Nails here, back with another indie rundown, and today I am sharing with you a couple of special polishes from Glisten and Glow. These are all going to be launching at PolishCon on April 29th, and then will be available in Jill's store on May 5th at 9 p.m. if you are unable to attend the event. The event. <laughs> there is one polish that is limited edition, so if it sells out at the event, it will not be available online. I will get into details when I get to that particular polish. Um, one is a blogger collaboration shade, one is the limited edition one batch four, and then five of them are part of a five burrows polish con collection. Jill used to visit there as a child, so she has tons of childhood memories in New York, and it was a very special collection for her to create. So five of them representing the five burrows and something that originated there or an event that you can do when you go visit the burrows. I will be sharing stamping of these and a water marble test, so be sure to stay tuned to the end. I will do the water marble, and after each polish, I will share stamping. So let's go through the limited edition shades first, and then I will share with you the collection. All right, so the blogger collaboration is in collaboration with Hello Miss Nikki. I'll have her Instagram linked below too if you want to check her out. She is fabulous. This is going to be launching at PolishCon, and actually, if you are there, you will get to meet the blogger. She will be there selling this polish in person, which is really cool and really fun. This is a dark, vampy, purple-toned, burgundy, linear holographic polish with added pops of a red, hollow micro glitter. This was almost opaque in one coat for me, but I did two to just make sure there weren't any of those random bald patches. Holy crap, this was so pretty on the nail. Um, in my swatch photo, two coats plus top coat. Let's go ahead and see how this one stamps. So for all of my stamping today, I'm going to be using my Lena Born to Sail 01 plate and this little bottom right corner image, as well as my Born Pretty Store squishy short stamper. is NYC is my jam. This is the one batch pour, so if there is anything left over from PolishCon, this will be available on May 5th at 9 p.m. in Jill's shop. 
But if this sells out at the event, this will not be available. So if you have a mule going and this is something you really, really want, I would highly suggest grabbing it there just in case because I wouldn't want to take a gamble on not getting this. This was another one that was almost opaque in one coat for me. In my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats plus top coat. And the description of this is, it is a berry colored linear holographic loaded with purple and blue hollow micro glitters and a dusting of silver hollow micro glitters and copper shimmer. I loved this polish so much. Let's go ahead and see how this one stands. Okay, now getting into the Five Burrows collection, all of these shades are right up my alley. They're kind of dustier versions of that color, and oh my goodness, I love them all. So I'm just going to go right up the side here. This is Beatboxing in the Bronx. This is described as an olive green linear holographic with added pink and blue shimmers and a dusting of gold flakies and gold hollow micro glitter. Um, in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats plus top coat of this one. And I am totally an olive lover. It just goes with my skin tone, my eyes, my hair. I love olive so much. Let's go ahead and see how Beatboxing in the Bronx stamps. Alright, next up we have Selfies in Staten Island. This is described as a nude linear holographic polish loaded with copper, bronze, and gold shimmers with a light dusting of silver hollow micro glitters. This was a really, really pretty nude color, and the little glitters in there really, really shine through. The hollow and actually the hollow in all of these is crazy strong, really, really strong linear holographics. Um, shown in my swatch photo of this is two coats plus top coat, and let's go ahead and see how Selfies in Staten Island stamps. Alright, the next polish and my collection favorite, oh my gosh, oh, I love this kind of dustier purple. This is Manny's in Manhattan. This is described as a dusty purple based mauve toned linear holographic with a strong copper shimmer and a dusting of red and silver hollow micro glitters. The copper shimmer really stands out well. I don't know if I caught it well enough in camera, um, like in my photos, but I really hope you can see it. This was just so, so pretty on the nail. And let's go ahead and see how this one stands. we have is Brunch in Brooklyn. This is described as a light pink linear holographic polish with a light pink hollow micro glitter and a dusting of blue and gold shimmers. Um, to me this kind of leaned more on the very pale lilac shade, so like a really pinky purple. Um, I, I actually ended up wearing this one for four, maybe five days. The hollow in this is so strong. Um, in my swatch photo you're going to see two coats plus top coat and let's go ahead and see how Brunch in Brooklyn stamps. in the five piece um, Burroughs collection is Quick Step in Queens. This one is described as a medium gray cream based linear holographic loaded with blue shimmers and a very light dusting of gold flakies. This was almost opaque in one coat for me but I did do two coats and top coat for my swatch photos. And let's go ahead and see how Quick Step in Queens stamps. Alright, so those are the swatches and stamping demos. Let's jump on over into a water marble demonstration. I actually have not tried it yet. I'm going to film that after this, so I don't even know if they're going to water marble or not. Alright guys, so I did find out that these don't water marble too well because they are packed with so much glitter. It makes it a little bit hard to drag an image. But I did also discover that it makes a really cool kind of geode, abstract, freeform 
whatever you want to call it. It looks really cool if you just kind of go crazy and have fun in the cup. You get a really fun effect at the end. I do want to show you my pictures of my attempted water marbles just so you can see that it, I mean, you can get it, but it's not that great. But I love the freeform style um, with these polishes. You get such a cool finish. And I did have to speed this up a little bit to make sure that my video didn't go too long. But you can see they do spread really nicely. They play really well. The glitter just makes it a little bit hard to get crisp lines in the water marble. Alrighty, I really hope you guys love this collection as much as I did. I highly recommend getting your mules out and sending them in. Go for the gold. Get all of them. I genuinely loved all seven of these shades. Um, remember, the pink one is only going to be available for one batch. So if this is one you want, get your mule out. If you don't know what a mule is, it's basically a friend you send in to do the shopping for you, and then they ship you your polishes after you pay them. Really good idea if you can't afford to make the trip all the way to New York. That is April 29th that these are launching, and again, launching in Jill's store on May 5th at 9 p.m. Eastern. And that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you have a good one, and I'll see you again soon with a... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'll see you again soon with another indie rundown. Bye. Oh, if you're wondering what's on my shirt, because I usually do when I'm watching videos, it says, it's going to be a pizza and unicorn kind of day, because we all have those kinds of days, right? <laughs> Bye, guys.